So I have a few videos planned for you guys tonight, and I just wanted to make this the first one, which is the, uh, expressing my thoughts video. Um, so I have been working on a project that I am going to explain in another video, um, and I just wanted to go in more depth about it. So this is a project I have been working on for a bit have actually put a lot of money towards it um just to get it to where you guys could also connect um <clears throat> and just a bunch of other stuff now the reason i'm bringing this to y'all's attention before uploading the video about the project is i just want you guys to know hey here's everything going on here's what is up here's what is going to happen that being said the project is a minecraft realm server and since I'm explaining it in this video, I might not explain it in the next one. Um, and the reason I wanted to make a realm server is just so you guys could connect with me and some of the other people in the team, such as my girlfriend and my friend Kira and my little brother. Um, those, th those are only three people who are part of the Divergent team out of many, many people. Um, and I wanted you guys to be creative. Now, there are only five, technically four, because... Uh, Kaylee might join before, like, after I send her the link. Um, but if not, then there's only five spaces left. Um, this is a limit of ten people because Realms, Bedrock, like, the public servers for Minecraft Bedrock aren't really that great. You have a maximum of ten people to prevent lag. Um, because the server that they used in order to make the game is a whole lot more trashier than with Yava. But that being said, I wanted to explain to you guys, hey, I have a Realms that I'm working on in the background, and it will be explained in more depth this video as well as next video. Um, basically the few simple rules are basically do not steal other people's um, loot, do not grief any houses, do not, uh, kill any, uh, member or villager or pretty much anything that would be viewed inhumane in real life. Uh, like, you could hunt mobs and you could kill animals because, like, that's hunting. That's how you survive in the game. But things like killing other people killing other players, you cannot do that just for the sincere of that is considered stealing because you're stealing their stuff, you're stealing their XP. Um, so I don't find it fair to do any of that. And that is why you're not allowed to do PVP on this server. Um, same with the SMP, which will be in the future. I'm working towards getting SMPs made and paid for um, and getting it to where we could have more than just 10 people. Um, that being said, when that happens, the same rules will apply. Um, one of the biggest rules would be be active. Like, you don't have to be active on a daily basis. You don't have to sit here and be like, oh, well, I have to be active 24-7. We're not worried about that. Just be active enough to where it's considerate of other people. Like, if you're working on a house and you build... You start building once, and then you never get back to it, never join that server, then there's no point in having it anyway. Um, so that's kind of how we, why we have the stay active rule. Like, you don't have to be on once a day or even 24-7. Just at least be on once a week, and then you'll keep your spot on the server, um, which I'll be making sure seeing who's active and who's not. Um, but if you've not been active... If you've been active for less than once a week or once a month or one, from once a month to once in a year, if that's how active you're going to get, I'm going to remove them. That way other people will be able to join. And there will be a waiting list to join it um, after the 10 people fill up max is settled. And the reason behind that is so that way um, there's more space for other people and the waiting list has for instance like what you would for an apartment if um someone were to build something then it will be left upon your removal but all your stuff would be removed from the chest if you weren't active for a month then all your stuff will be removed from the chest and added to 
a communal chest just so like if you were inactive and didn't do anything in your apartment or didn't pay for apartment fees then your stuff would be thrown out it's kind of a similar context um the only difference is your stuff would be reused for people who would actually use it so for instance if you had a diamond sword and you weren't at you weren't active and you somehow got a diamond sword uh, while upon the server, while being part of a server, if you got a diamond sword within a day of being part of it, then um, you will lose that diamond sword um, if you're inactive for a whole month. And that's only to be considerate of other people's space, as in like their building integrity like there's a bunch of people who have been wanting me to do this for a while and were wanting to show me their builds and that's why i got this made was so they could and if you're not going to be active then that's preventing them from doing that uh preventing them from showing me their builds and preventing them from actually being able to enjoy time with the team so if you're just going to join to join and not have any plans like you don't even have to build you could claim one of the pre-made houses because i expanded the village a little bit um and i've been working on handmade updates to slowly get it to where it actually looks good to where people could actually build to it or if you didn't want to build you could claim a pre-made house like i'm slowly expanding it to where it actually is convenient for not only the villagers but also the other players even though um there's a maximum of 10 players there's a bunch of villagers that spawn because i got four villager spawners four to 12. it's i think i want to say it's 12 villager spawners set up that being the case of if mobs were to kill a villager um then there would be two more or four more or even 12 more that spawn in the killing of that one villager and that way, like, we have more trades that are rare and common. Because I have a couple of rare trades. Like, I think one of my trades, unless a zombie killed it, um, is you could trade in two diamond for two emerald. So it's one diamond per emerald. And then another rare trade I have, I think it was 12 emerald for one netherite. So it's ba I basically had a couple of very rare trade villagers, as well as wandering trader villagers. Um, that were actually pretty great and I just wanted to make it to where like everyone could um, express with those trades for the sincerity of hey you want to show me what you want to build you could show me what you want to build you want to show me uh, how good you are at a game you could show me how good you are at a game more than just being an Xbox Live friend because this I could literally just attach to my YouTube and anyone could join um, whereas with Fortnite, only those I invite specifically could join, um, through Xbox Live Friendship, um, or whatever friendship I'm on. It would happen to be Xbox Live because that would be the only console I actually physically enjoy playing. Like, I'll play PlayStation and a couple others, but not really big into more diverse gaming, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't play a bunch of consoles, but that being said, if you guys do wanna join the server, there will be a how-to in another video in the future. Um, and there will be more in-depth of rules. We've decided the rules for the Dyad upgrade or update, which is the first update, which is a form of currency. Um, and we're gonna combine those with the actual rules. And I'm going to set in World Spawn a whole platform that you have to verify rules with and stuff like that. Um, and make it to where, like, if you read those rules and you keep your spot. That being said, I am hoping some of you guys want to join. And I am hoping that you guys will enjoy it on the server. Um, I got one more video I gotta upload, two more technically. I'm probably gonna upload the other one tomorrow, but I have one more video I gotta upload, and then I will join that server. And if I end up doing the third one tonight, then expect to see 
the link to the server. Anyway, as always, this is Foxy and Boxy signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed. Everyone remember to like and subscribe. Bye.